After 2012's disappointment of SummerSlam, the WWE rebounds here nicely, I think. Um, the double main event feuds were very compelling in their own way, and the undercard was pretty solid as well. So um, let's get right down to it. Once again, SummerSlam is held at Los Angeles, California, the Staples Center. whoop de doo This is the fifth year in a row. This next year it's going to be the sixth. Then after that it's the seventh, then the eighth, then the ninth, then the tenth, and blah, 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 blah. No one cares about the freaking, yeah, yeah, no one cares about L.A. So um, SummerSlam 2013, here we go. The match, uh, the pay-per-view starts out with, the pre-show, Rob Van Dam versus Dean Ambrose. Um, this match was okay. Um, it consisted a few good moves by both superstars. It was good to see RVD get the title shot um, for the U.S. title, but um, he couldn't pull out. He couldn't pull it off. The winner, of course, was Dean Ambrose. Next up, we get um, wow. Next up, we get the Ring of Fire match: Kane versus Bray Wyatt. This match was not good. It consisted of a few punches, two or three choke slams. The only thing that kept you interested in the match was watching Bray Wyatt trying to get into the ring, um, and um, setting Kane on fire. Uh, so yeah, Bray Bray Wyatt wins this match. Next up, we get Cody Rhodes versus Damian Sandow. Um, I see great things in the future for these two men. Uh, well, I did, I should say, uh, until Damian Sandow lost his Money in the Bank match. Um, this match was fast-paced from the get-go. Pretty good storytelling towards this match. Um, yeah, Cody Rhodes wins here. Nothing too special. Again. Um, now we get... The World Heavyweight Championship, one more match for Christian as he faces Alberto Del Rio. Um, Del Rio gets can get physical, and this match showed just that. Um, what a brawl this match was. High-flying moves and close pinfalls, but a great match back and forth action. But either way, Alberto Del Rio retains the World Heavyweight Championship. Next up, we get Natalia versus Brie Bella. This was uh, this match was an okay match for the Divas title. Not not a big fan of the Divas matches, but I just like watching the Bella the Bella Twins in action. If you know what I'm saying. The only reason why I will say that the only reason why this was in the uh, pay per view is because it's Los Angeles and because of that stupid show Total Divas. Well, it's okay. I still watch it, but oh, anyway, um, Natalia wins here. Uh, nothing too special. Um, now we get the best versus the beast. CM Punk versus Brock Lesnar. Um, in a no disqualification match. Um, all I can say is wow. This match was freaking awesome. It was very physical. Be both men kicking out of... Um, their finishers. Sadly, Punk did not get his hands on Paul Heyman, but thank you both for this awesome freaking match. Um, so hopefully I redeem myself from the last video, and hopefully Brock Lesnar won't kill me. Um, but yeah, Le Brock Lesnar won, and uh, it was pretty cool. That match was freaking awesome, I should say. Now we get Dolph Ziggler and Caitlin versus Biggie Langston and AJ Lee. Seriously, how many times are we going to see these four face off against each other for Divas competition or on Raw every single week? I hope this rivalry ends. It, it, well, it did technically, but it, yeah, it, this match sucked. Um, Dolph Ziggler and AJ Lee win, or Dolph Ziggler and Caitlin win, I should say. Not nothing too special there. Which brings us to the main event of the evening. Daniel Bryan versus John Cena for the WWE Championship with God, Triple H, as the special guest referee. Another great match with a shocking ending that made me speechless. But all I can say is Bryan should be the face of the company. Um, I, no, I'm not a big fan of John Cena, and the WWE needs, needs, to, change, needs to change, and Bryan is the right guy for that change. On the other hand... What's really best for business? Brian is best for business. He beats John Cena clean with the running knee strike and wins the WWE Championship. But hold your horses with the confetti drops and with the balloons falling down. 
Um, I think that was a little too premature because out comes Randy Orton and the Money in the Bank winner. Thinks he's going to cash in, walks away, and what does Triple H do? He pedigrees Daniel Bryan. Orton comes out, cashes in the contract, and Randy Orton is your new WWE World Heavyweight Champion. Um, WWE Champion, I should say, because, yeah. Um, overall, SummerSlam 2013 was a good pay-per-view. It's definitely worth the money. Out of 10, I'm going to rate SummerSlam 2013 a... Eight and a half out of ten. Best match of the night, hands down, CM Punk versus Brock Lesnar. And worst match of the night was probably the Ring of Fire match. That's SummerSlam 2013. I hope you guys enjoyed my review series. Um, the next video will be my uh, preview and prediction video with Newkirk, Gary Newkirk, Newkirk G-Man 2, and G2C Network, whatever the heck you want to call them. So until then, this is A Pizzle 90 saying peace out, baby. See you guys next time.